Kilda Internet. I've got a little project to do today. My Quilt Guild has issued a challenge to the members to create a 12 inch square maximum little mini quilt and it has to be on the theme of layers. So there's some really obvious things I could do with that, but I've been thinking a little bit and I think I want to put a bit of a twist on it. quite laterally sometimes so the first thing that came to mind when I heard layers was chickens But I still want to have some literal layers in my quilt, so I'm thinking the body of my chickens could have layers of feathers, or ruffled feathers. I could use layers of ruffles to make up the body of the chicken. So first I need a simple egg shape for the body of the chicken. To make it symmetrical, I'll draw half of it on a piece of paper, then trace the other side with my light box. It's much easier than trying to draw something symmetrical. I probably should check the size, because the quilt has to fit within a 12 inch square. Oh yeah, that is way too big. Let's try that again. That looks much better. So I'll use that as a template to trace the outline onto the background fabric. But first I'll need to pick a background fabric and the colours of the chicken. So my first thought is this one. It kind of looks like straw. Traditional chicken colours might look a bit boring against it though. Maybe I should go totally the other direction and have like a blue chicken or something totally weird like that. I don't know, it's just not really grabbing me. Even with the bright colours, I don't think there's enough contrast. Maybe I should try a lighter background. Ah, now this might work better. And it's cat themed, so very on brand for me. Yeah, this is starting to look like a colour scheme. Ooh, and maybe all those cats explain why the chicken has ruffled feathers. <laughs> Now it's time to make the ruffles. To do that, I'm going to take a two inch strip that's, I don't know, about one and a half times the width of the chicken and fold it right sides together, then stitch down the sides. So then when I turn it right side out, the only raw edge will be along the top. Now I can baste along that top edge with my machine's longest stitch. And when I pull on the thread, I get a ruffle. So now I can just stitch it in place. and then repeat that process until the entire chicken's body is covered. I don't need to worry about that raw edge because each raw edge will be covered by the layer of ruffles on top of it. I think I'll add the wings now so that they can tuck under the ruffles. I'm just gonna basically applique them on using some heat and bond with a tight zigzag, almost a satin stitch around the edges. Body done, and now I just need to make its head one more ruffle for its comb. I learnt my lesson with the hoi hoi so I'm not going to try and applique the tiny pieces for its face. So maybe I could try painting it? I'm using interface to turn the edges of the applique because I don't think 
raw edge fused applique will work well over those thick edges of the ruffles. Huh, I don't actually like it. There's something wrong. I think it's the face that's the problem. So I'm gonna unpick the face and try a different idea. I think the problem was there wasn't enough contrast between the background and that white face. So I might stick with pink. And to make the beak stand out against the pink, I could use a prairie point to literally make it stand out from the face. A 3D beak! That looks so much better. Now I just need to give it some legs. I added the legs with satin stitch and I did a little bit of quilting in the background. Some feathers of course, because it's a chicken. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else will get my little visual pun about layers, but it amuses me. And I like the little quilt that I ended up with. I think it looks quite cute. <laughs> and it turns out other people thought so too, because my quilt was voted the best in the challenge. Yay! <laughs> That's the first time I've ever won anything at my quilt guild. <laughs> Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Ka kite anō internet. <laughs>